Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2 episode 6 of The Wilds. This time the title of the episode is Day 46 slash 26. 46 for the girls, 26 for the boys. Um, and yeah, well, previous episode, uh, the boys kind of had to face something extremely terrible that was done to one of them um and i think it was resolved in a very like democratic way they all voted and you know cast uh seth out of camp and you know i honestly i am glad that it was done in such a civilized way will it remain that way will thing escalate from now on will seth try to make his comeback or something like that i don't know but there has to be a point where we you know um have to go from josh being like scared and everything to the moment that we saw him on the previous episode where he's more i don't know like you you can sense from the way he talks he has grown a lot more in I don't know, maybe in this 10 days difference between the previous episode and this one. So, we'll see how it goes. I am excited to watch uh, a new episode. Um, I cannot wait, honestly, for day 50. And, you know, to do to, to know what the hell is going to happen. How they're going to get them out. What is going to happen with the boys and all of that. And yeah, yeah. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to watch this a new um, episode. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up, a lot of hearts, whatever way you can do to support this reaction, do it. Um, if you're on Patreon already, give it a heart. Continue watching for more. We're only two episodes away after this for the series, no, for the season two finale. I don't know if they have announced that they, that we will have a season three. Let's see how this season ends so I can you know, think, oh, we need a season two, a season three, or that's the end of the story. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's just begin with season two, episode six of The Wilds. Here we go. Maybe we should come back later. Oh, come on, Dean. Nose dive off the wagon with me, both of you. Pull up a drink. Let's toast to our demise. Uh, let's toast to that. Let's. I will toast to that. To your demise. I will toast to that. And the other two, probably as well. I I, I know about the other two, but like, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. Drown ourselves the proper way, from the inside out. With tequila. No, look, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Mm, okay, you know? Piss off, Dan. She's she's just she's just throwing a tantrum right now. There is absolutely no circumstance during this entire show that I will ever feel sorry for this bitch. I just wanna make that clear. I just tell you that I really like this. I wouldn't mind if what we were doing right now were just like my whole life. Nah. You want us to be bedridden together? No, you know what I mean. Oh, look, those grandparents in Willy Wonka. Aww. Oh my god, there's kind of a sexy poly situation. Nobody even talks about it. Wasn't it? Oh my no, god, really did. Did you about that? <laughs> He's so me. Anytime I get like a random idea for a a pair on any show or movie or whatever, I'm like, oh, did somebody already wrote about this? <laughs> Where are you going? Wait, is this the normal way back? Nah. Thought we'd explore a little since it's so damn beautiful out. You know, I might actually miss the smell of this place. <sighs> might even miss the quiet once we're home. I love that she's thinking about coming back home. And the thing is, how the, the hell are they gonna explain that Norris is still alive? Drunk right now? I don't What's know, maybe happening? a little. Just, I love, you know, lesbian peeing you. together. Why is it that everything reminds me of Villanelle and Eve on Killing Eve? Like, don't even, okay? Oh my god. I love you. Okay. Okay, that is so cute. 
She didn't say it back though. Oh my god. You're being vulnerable. It's okay. It's okay. You're opening yourself up. Okay, she's freaking out. It's okay. It's okay. It's just that it's been four or six days, and out of those four or six days, how many days have you guys been together for the three words to just drop out of Shelby? Um, <gasps> you know what? If this is what Retina Display is serving, I need to upgrade. Why did you post that? I thought that was like a just for us thing. <laughs> You're like legitimately mad? Not mad, just I'm not like a super public person like you. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing? We look like an Italian Vogue spread. <laughs> yeah, but what might be good for you might not be good for him, right? We'll deserve our, our, our privacy, right? I don't know. I, things like this... I, it just needs to be out there. You know? But not... I understand that. But you just want to post it just because you... you I, I don't know. I think you should want it to post it for personal reasons because you you feel it, right? Not because it is a it's a statement. Not everything has to be a statement. I think, right? Mm -mm. What what do I say? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What what is it? Oh my god. What is it? What is it? Fucking over with that <gasps> fuck. What the hell are we doing? Blackface, right? That's what he's doing. How disgusting can you be? Although, like, no, no, not although, like, oh, that is okay. But like, here in my country, like, um, there are a lot of celebrations, cultural things. You know, there's th there are African Peruvian dances, right? That uh, some people, not not only African African Peruvian people, dance. I'm terrible at it, by the way. Like you're supposed to be good, but like I am terrible at it. But the thing is, that a lot of people for a lot of time, like I remember, even when I was like a kid, and like even recently, you do. I mean, there wasn't a name to it uh, up until now, especially there in the U.S., where you do really, like, either white people or or even, like, if you are, like, uh, a, a different ethnicity, not necessarily white or even Asian or whatever, you do paint your face. It's not, you know, a, a terrible... I mean, I guess it is bad taste, but... I don't know, it's not it's not something as bad or at least now it's being talked about a little bit more. Like even comedians when they are supposed to be playing uh you know, black characters, they use that and they exaggerate, you know, with the big lips, but like they make it like massive and like you know, but I mean now, I'm seeing a lot more of people, like, talking about how disrespectful that is. But up until, like, I'm telling you, four years, two years ago, even. Let's just say four years. Like, it, it was okay. It was the norm to do that. Which is wild, right? Look, I, I kind of was expecting something like this to happen. Raf. Raf. Raf, come on. I mean, the divisions in the group. There needs to be there needs to be a limit, right? I mean, we came for something. We got it, and like for Seth to assume that the the uh, his brother could make another fire, it's understandable. I mean, he is a Boy Scout and he knows a lot of shit. So making a fire, I think it would have been, you know, I don't think it would have been that dif difficult for him. Uh, but I think that, I mean, the thing that I was congratulating them before is the fact that they were very democratic on the things that they were doing, that they were they did not resort to to violence. But now they are. I mean, it's understandable for Josh 
And I know that Kieran wants to, like, you know, be like, oh, the macho man, and, like, you don't do this fucking thing, and, like, you know, but we have to set limits, right? Guys, this can't feel right to you. Please, can you say to? something? Please, can you say something? Uh, 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 hey, Josh, casual suggestion, but sitting down might be a very cool move for you. No, right now. no way, bro. Beast mode's happening. El Diablo, 666. You mess with the devil, you get the sticks. Oh! Hell yeah, David! <laughs> get after it. So it's like an actual circus up in here now. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yo, oh, hey, yo, oh, Josh, oh. Wanna... Don't break my concentration, bro. Yeah, but the, the, oh, oh my god, go into the water! What? Oh. Should we go back in for a sec? Like, you don't actually want to see this, do you? Okay, like, for real, can we not stand here while this is sure, happening? No, okay, he Thank might you. mean something for he him. Wants. Did he stand up behind He's him? He's a sympathizer. No, like that a doesn't... fucking shameless, spineless sympathizer. She said something to me today. That was a good thing. It was a nice thing. Something that I'd heard before and said before, but it never really made last. And I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like... Like it wasn't for me. You know, like... You know, she can't really mean that. God, I know where it comes from, you know? No, you don't. I sat across from enough social workers to know where it comes from, I guess it just... That's not... It's not like that. I just wanted to go away, Marty. Well, you kind of are. Get out. And don't come back. Sure, come what? on, that's not what we said. We tell him? Yeah, bro. I mean, when did, when did kicking him out end up on the table? Okay, okay, okay. Tensions are running high. Everyone's a little... powder keggy right now. Kieran, we didn't actually discuss, like, an expulsion scenario. Hey, you're the one that said zero tolerance, did you not? It's like your whole fucking life motto, Taylor. You honestly gonna throw it out of the window right now? He was a good guy. Wife, <laughs> kids. And they fucking, they fucking watched out for me. Me on Thanksgiving. <laughs> he was my family. Taylor, we need to go now. My don't make fucking family. Don't make fun of him, you know? Ivan. <sighs> Shit. He was my fucking family and now there's nobody on because your ass couldn't shut the fuck up! I was waiting for this. The white rage boiling point, huh? I'm not. This isn't white fucking... <laughs> you absolutely wish that lock had been my face, don't you? No, no. I didn't. Fuck! Oh, come on, let it out, O'Connor. Say all those things you want to say to me. Shut the fuck up, no, Taylor! I'm so serious. Cleanse yourself. Call me all those names you've been dying to call me. Just get the hell out of here! Do it! Call me a fag! No! I'm not... I'm not gonna fuck it. Call me a woke, cock-sucking faggot! Get it out of your system! Ivan, what are you doing? Yeah, what fuck. are you doing? You fucking fag! You fuck with my whole life, you woke... Cock-sucking asshole, faggot. I didn't think he'd be bad. I should have said it before. You couldn't say it back. I can't now. And tomorrow, every single fucking day after. I love you. Say it. I love you. Oh my god, my baby! I love you. <laughs> That's so fucking good, you know? Luke, what's going on right now? You got him expelled, Ivan. Oh. You're kidding, right? You're not honestly in your feelings over a verbally abusive You didn't, homophobe. like, not no. provoke him. The things he said about his life, they weren't lies, you know? And I'm not trying to excuse anything, but you didn't, yeah. like, score one for the cause, Ivan. You just kicked a kid when he was down. Mm, he's a cis, hat white, three-season athlete. When is he ever down? No, I, I get it. I'm, I'm not getting everything right here. It's, just, it's not it's even not... about him. Anyway, it's like, 
I know who we are. Black, gay, the things that we're always fighting. I know that we have to be guarded and, and mad and, and hard a lot of the fucking time. But with yeah. you, it's like... It's a constant fight. It's like what? It's like you keep forgetting how to be anything else. Fuck. Fuck. Kieran, I'm sorry. Holy hell. Do I even need to say it? No, I know. What, that he gets kicked out as well? I won't come back. Shit. <laughs> Marty? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what happened? Hey. It hurt. It wanted out of the trap, so it, it chewed, and, and, and it's, now it's out there. It, it's a rabbit. It, it has a, it's, it's babies, and it's, it's bleeding. Not I'm not hunting. I'm fucking hurting things. And it didn't do anything. I'm a fucking monster. <laughs> hey, hey, Marty. Oh, 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 Marty. oh, 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 my God. Do we need to help? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything your head stirs up ends up meaning something. I mean, for fuck's sake, you're the only one who knows the truth about this place. This is losing my mind. Or you're just doing what you need to survive. Oh my god, which she was right, but. Okay, those voices are real. Martha! Go, Lee. Martha! Go! Okay, so that is her subconscious, Martha! right? Martha! How did she run this fast? Marty? You found her. Martha! Kill the baby rabbits, right? <sighs> okay, when I tell you that we are not okay, none of us, none of us are okay. N not a single one of us are okay. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season two, episode six of of the wilds. Uh, there we go, right? Episode 6, things are going extremely fast. I mean, they are telling the story, the boys' story, a lot faster, I feel, that they are doing with the girls. Also because they stayed at the island for less time than the girls did. The girls made it to the 50 days. They made it to day 33, 34. Um... So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to unpack in this episode, you know. Um, first of all, we got something that is <sighs> previous episode. I was talking about how I was like happy, kinda, um proud of the boys for reaching an understanding about Seth in a rather civilized way, pretty democratic, you know, it wasn't a unanimous decision, but, you know, it was a decision that they made. Now, it's been 10 days later, and... One thing is that Seth could easily easily go to the place where there is water. It's not like the guys are hogging the, the waterfall. And he could actually get 
some water, you know? He he did he- heard that it was like an hour away from camp, so he could have walked to that place and get himself some water and maybe try to find himself some food or, or something, you know, to feed himself. But no, he is staying at that place, still claiming his innocence, you know, which is a terrible thing. But once the fire gets put down for the boys in the boys' camp, they all, you know, thought, said this is the one who took the lighter and said said that he took it thinking that, that Henry w- will actually, you know, be able to light it back up if they needed, uh, if, if they needed fire, if the fire went out for some way, that he was able to, to, to help, which is, I mean, it, it does make sense because Henry... Is a Boy Scout, so making fire is like Boy Scout number like 101, right? So I don't know if I completely believe him or not. Uh, but the guys go there and, you know, Kieran, since Kieran is a very physical type of guy, he gets, you know, he gets it going and he's like, you're a piece of shit. And he s- starts beating him up, which democracy and all when flying out the fucking window that exact same moment because we made a, a judgment call about separating him from the group you know um, we didn't establish for how long we didn't establish you know at the end of the day as horrible as we might think and like for most of the world there are basic human rights that people have. I'm not saying that, oh, that's the first thing that we should think about whenever someone is accused of something. Um, um, But the thing is that they do at the end of the day, you know? Even if you're in prison, you have have at least, you know, food and, and, and water you know, basic things. I mean, it's not like they should provide food for him. Um, but there is absolutely no need for us to go beating him up. You know, I, I could understand that from Josh. You know, from Josh's side. Josh feels very high right now. And like, the frustration that he had from what happened to him from him not wanting to feel like a victim, he's letting it out in an aggressive way because Kieran is kind of like mentoring him and Kieran also doesn't know how to handle emotional things and he results to anger. So Josh is learning that, right? Uh, And he's letting out his frustrations through violence. I'm not... You know, saying he didn't deserve a few punch punches from Josh. But... If you wanna... If you do wanna build a resemblance of, of society, you can do what the kids, the boys are doing, right? And I, in my opinion, what Ivan did, which was put his opinion his feelings to decide to actually give them an act of kindness so they don't die, you know, because they froze out, like they freeze out, um, with that getting him kicked out of the, of the group, um, I, I don't know, I think that it is personal growth for him because we also get to see some of his life, before he came to the island. And his life before the island, you know, we know Ivan is very much the person who is very into social justice and social injustice, right? And he wants to make things right. Uh, He is part of a minority. He's not only black but he's also gay you know 
So in his opinion, you know, he has to walk kind of being on the defensive, right? But, and it's sad that people might think that that's the way they have to do it because there are so many bad people out there, right? Um, it's sad that you have to think that way. But, you know, he is always about that. You know, not realizing that, you know, um, not everything is a, it's a fight that you don't have to be fighting 24-7, right? Um, he goes into the, uh, the coach, uh, Insta and there, there is this photo where, how stupid also can it be? Like the guy wanted to dress up for Halloween with his wife as Kim and Kanye and he didn't thought better than to, you know, paint his face black. Because, you know, he's stupid and racist. And I am fully in support, right, of of Ivan calling him out for what it is. This, this was in his public Insta. Like, he didn't do a very much, like, like deep dive. It was just right there, right? Uh, but Kieran gets affected by it because, like... You know, two things can be right at the same time. He can be a racist um, and have done that, but he can also be good with the people that he feels that might deserve it. And Kieran is, like, extremely white. So, of course, he helped him out. And for him, it it marked, it was, it, it meant something, right? Because he spent Thanksgivings with him and, like, he was a good guy in his opinion, right? But for Ivan, it was like, no, he has to go. Which, honestly, yes. Because of what he did, yes. But then Ivan, you know, kind of gets to his head the fact that he holds the moral high ground all the time just because he's black and just because he's gay. And, like, he has this moral high ground where, like, no one actually will ever reach it, you know? Like, he wants the standards. And he actually pushes Karen in a moment that he's very down, he's very uh, drunk as well, and going through all these emotions, and he gets him to, on video. He, he doesn't record the video when he is telling him, Say the things you want to say. Say that I'm this, that I'm that, that you hate me because of this and that. And provoking him, you know. And he does that off camera. And right when Kieran is about to to follow through and say the same things that he said, he turns on the camera, the camera, and then, you know, goes to the school and gets him suspended. That did not only cause him to, uh, you know, to probably rise in popularity in a way, but it also caused his, you know, for his relationship to be over with Luke, who he seemed very happy with, you know, but it's like, I don't feel like he, like he like that made him whole like that was enough for him to have a loving relationship and be happy with that you know he had to fight the social injustice happening to him so he can be loud and 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 brave and you know and like yes you fight it right you fight those that, that type of thing but you don't necessarily you know you don't necessarily um um like, dig for it, like, put words on someone's mouth, and granted, I'm gonna be uh, completely honest, if you are a decent human being, and you are not used to use those type of words, even if you're drunk, you're not gonna say it, but, you know, uh, uh, Kieran was, like, under a lot of stress, you know, he was, he was drunk, he was emotional, he was angry, uh, I'm not saying it's, it's, just, you know, the worst, like, I'm not excusing him, but still, I mean, Ivan did look for it, 
and got what he wanted just because he hates Kieran, because he's supposed to hate everything that Kieran represents. And I think where that's where we all, you know, if you're fighting injustice and if you're fighting about, you know, having your rights being treated the same, given the same sub- opportunities without caring, you know, what you look like and, you know, you should kind of give back the same thing, right? But he did not. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think uh, Ivan really felt like he deserved to be happy with Luke, even though his happening was right there. But he couldn't see it because of all these things that he had in his head that are, you know, more important for him at that moment, which is really sad because he seemed seemed very happy with with uh, with Luke. Um, then we have, you know, the girls on the other side, which, you know, their story, it's so important. I mean, we're finding out things about, you know, the boys and like, that might be like those moments could be like more intense in that because they are just starting. And we saw that previously with the girls, but they're coming to this point where, you know, they're connections are getting stronger where you know you cannot deny their that their mental health can also go, be going up and down right now it's happening with Leah and it's happening with Martha you know um then there is this feeling of not feeling like enough of not deserving love you know um Shelby makes a love confession to Tony. She tells her that she loves her. Tony responds in the only way, I guess, that she knows how, which is aggression. You know, she started to be a lot more mean to people and things like that um, because she doesn't know how to be loved in the right way. You know, she doesn't lo- know how to do that. And she she got scared at that moment. But I'm so glad that Martha was there to kind of like, help her, you know, and like get her out of that dark place that she was in at that moment, you know, and of course, Tony will do the same for Martha. But like right now, Martha, since she is trying to deny everything that she is, she's been, she's been doing the hunting, you know, and, and, and hunting for the girls so she, they can eat. But the thing is that she is like, she loves animals. She doesn't like hurting animals under any circumstances, you know. Uh, but then there is this kind of like darkness uh, with her uh, where what is expected of her and what she does despite of feeling bad about it um, kind of comes clashing, right? She saw that the poor rabbit got trapped and bite off uh, her leg to escape the trap. And then, you know, they had like baby um, rabbits were there feeding off the dead body. So first Martha is trying to save them, right? Asking Tony to go in and save the, the, the rabbits. But then... She goes a little bit out of her mind and she goes and just kills the poor rabbits. And like in a moment where I was completely shocked. Like I was completely shocked at that moment that that was happening. Like this is Martha. Friendly, animal friendly Martha. And like she went off and and did that. And I was just like you know, I, I think that that last scene was very intense. And then you have, of course, Leah. That is being told by Fatten not to go off the rail, you know, not think about the past and move on and focus her energy in something different and no, not about her ex-boyfriend and not about, you know, the things that were happening with Nora because she fully believed that there was something going on there. Which she's absolutely right. But her mind, 
you know, since she's she sometimes had moments high on serotonin and like right now it feels like the, it came down uh, once again and she is hallucinating things and it's more like they're doing the, like her brain is trying to tell her, do not forget about that because you are not actually crazy. That is actually happening, you know, but it's, it's just too much for her to take, you know, and of course it didn't fucking help that Fadden actually told her, oh, do you remember that? Do you remember the numbers of the color? Because she was like, she saw the numbers as well, right? On, on, on Nora's jacket and on Nora's journal, right? And she's trying to investigate and like trying to put one and one together, um, and she might be realizing that all this time she was right, that Leah was right, you know, and I think that little by little everyone will understand that and everyone will be on the same page with, uh, with, with Leah, right? That's why the girls haven't said things and things like that. Um, but also let's remember that in the present day, whatever is happening, um, uh, our girl, Leah, has not made her call yet, right? Because she has a 45-second call that she can make, but she hasn't made it yet, you know? So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Gretchen is throwing a tantrum, which I couldn't ca care to sense. I, could, I, I couldn't care less about it. Honestly, she can drop dead tomorrow and I will be the bitch deserved it. And I hope she suffer, you know, because of what she has done to this group of kids, you know, the girls and the boys. Uh, maybe not Seth. He can choke. Um, but the thing is that that she's like, oh, yeah, because the fucking boys don't want to tell us. Like, we, we don't know what the hell is happening. And I'm like, you bitch, you are responsible for whatever happened. You know, even if you don't know it. And, like, don't put the blame on the boys because of your failures, you know. So I'm like, <sighs> but anyways, but anyways, I have to be nice, right? No, I don't have to be nice with Gretchen. Out of all people, I don't think... Anyone will ask me to be like a little bit understanding with 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 Gretchen. Fuck right, Gretchen. Honestly. Um. Anyways, crazy episode, and we only have two more episodes to go, which is episode seven, titled "Day Fifty Slash Thirty Three," and then there is a season two finale, which is titled "Title Exodus." So it's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy, right? Oh my god, I cannot wait for the final two episodes. Hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. On car reaction, always post it first on Patreon. <laughs> One of these days, this thing is gonna just fall down and it'll break. Anyways, thank you for watching, for all your support. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I love every single one of you. Hope you guys enjoy my reaction as well. Uh, continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of hearts if you're on Patreon. And we can continue the conversation down in the comment section below. Wasn't it cute, though? Wasn't it cute when Shelby said, I love you. And then Tony, after a bit, said it again. Said it, too. And she was like, I was not able to say it before. But I'm able to say it now. And I'm going to say it forever. And, like, oh, Shoni out there. Shoni out there being one of the best couples. It's just wonderful to me anyways that's it thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the wiles that's it Mwah. hey guys